I got a very, 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 and I saved it, mean phone call, uh, praise God, from California. Now, I'm not going to criticize the left coast. Because we have, we have members in California, good friends in California. I know some saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled people in California. Some of my best friends in California. God bless California. Now, having said that, she called, she was so mean. I called, I'm, I'm a minister in my church, and I, 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 I see you. You talk about Hollywood, you talk about this, you talk about what other people do. But I want to know what are you going to do about that flag hanging behind you, that gay flag, that gay. Number one, this is not a gay flag. It's not a gay flag. See, here's what you do. You might want to call and ask. Bishop, this is Minister so-and-so. I'm from wherever. And, sir, I, I noticed behind you, I see this, this, this flag. Uh, I would like to know what, uh, what that's all about. You know, I, 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 the person said, and that Jesus pride on it don't make any difference at all. Take it down. Take it down. Like, she, like she's got authority. <laughs> like she's got the power to influence what we do one way or the other, where she has zero power. No, let's get in the red letter, negative, less than zero. The homosexual flag, the traditional one, has six colors. The Christian recognition of the rainbow that God made in Genesis chapter nine, God spoke of the significance of the rainbow. And this has seven colors. Seven. Now Patricia explained that to her. It didn't make any difference. I don't care. And you still need to take it down. Like we're going to take it down. And it's apparent that the person is not following the ministry. Apparently the person has never heard any uh, much of what we have to say. Because uh, that, there's nobody who assumes that we are a LBGTQ plus affirming church. Mm -mm. I want to see people get delivered because God loves them. Now, she says, take it down. We can't take it down. But, and she says, you know, when the gay people, the gay people in California see it, they're empowered. And told me, with that thing up, before you know it, you will have a gay church. So this is a person who's not familiar with the ministry. You don't know this church. Matter of fact, we don't only have this flag, but for the month of June, we dedicate 30 days to Jesus' pride reclaiming the rainbow, and we've done it for years. But anyway, just, just, just for the sake of educating, this is not a homosexual flag. This flag is, we're saying when we display this, that we do not surrender the month of June to the LBGTQ community. We do not dis surrender God's rainbow that God made to anybody. Now the indictment is this, and this is where the whole church should be ashamed. The whole body of Christ should be ashamed. That when people see this, they think homosexuality and lesbianism, and they don't think grace and mercy. If the church did its job, God said the purpose, his reason for putting the boy in the sky, it was to remind him to never flood the earth again with water. And it's to remind us that he will never flood the earth again with water. We let, and I guess you all out there in California, you let them people take God's bow. And, and redefine it just as we let them redefine marriage. The church is weak. We're weak because we won't contend. We let them redefine it. I'm calling on pastors. Pastors who agree with the Bible. Who agree with Genesis chapter 9. Display your seven color rainbow. Tell people what it's all about. Explain it from time to time so they will know it. But never, ever, 
take it back. That ain't going to happen. 